liberal sectors, um, black communities, uh, for example, because of the connection with Christianity and uh, the exploitation of uh, uh, Christianity uh, around the questions of um, abortion rights and LGBT rights. Uh, I think that um, Obama um, was really courageous when he recently came out and said that he supported uh, same-sex marriage, which is going to create a different kind of um, terrain uh, for that discussion uh, during the coming period. Uh, um, and I think that um, it is important to point out how uh, religious fundamentalism has completely poisoned uh, the political landscape. And hopefully over the next period, and particularly during the election campaign, we'll be able to push back the influences uh, of, of, of the ultra-right in that respect. Could you tell me a bit more about this? How, how can you see this coming? You said pull back, push back. How can it happen? Well, I, I, I began by saying that um, um, Obama was, or, or has, ne can now claim that he is the first sitting president ever to come out in support of same-sex marriage. And so this creates uh, the possibility for um, challenging the ultra-right in ways that were not possible before, when he was hemming and hawing. So I'm suggesting that it may be possible, for example, to, um, to bring black um, religious um, figures into, uh, the, um, into the discussion in a different way. Uh, I'm hoping that this will provide the opportunity for us to have more serious uh, discussions on reproductive rights, for example, um, on, and on health care, on a whole range of issues, not just on uh, the question of, of marriage equality and the civil rights uh, uh, that are associated with the marriage equality movement. Um.